Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Lewis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. I'm sorry, Violet. It was a mistake. If I could take it back... Whatever. What's wrong with you, Vi? I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? I'm so sorry, Violet. I didn't have a clear shot. Bullshit! What's wrong with you, Vi? I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Vi? I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> no, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed if you fuck this up worse. I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. And don't think I won't. Come on! They're just trying to scare you. I'm afraid too, but we can't let them get into our heads. I'm not afraid. I'm realistic. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. Good. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. Fine. Stay here then, but I'm bringing everyone else home. Until you decide you don't want them around either. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? 
Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Damn it! Don't talk to her, AJ. How about you and I chat instead? Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force, and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta, it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, you're far too valuable to kill. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. You know, my father, someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Everyone glares at me like that at first, but you'll come around. You know, my father, someone like you, so young with so much potential. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. 
He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. That seems like a pretty stupid way to make a point. It was extreme. But I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Good. I can see you're paying attention. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it... The Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. I wonder if that's how the twins would tell it. One of them would. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous. They were just doing what they needed to survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Grinny! What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, 
Which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her. You people are fucking sick. Y'all better back away from the door. Lewis, calm down. Just do what they say. Fuck no. Look what they did to many. I'd rather die than become that. Y'all better back away from the door. All right, Lily. You made your point. I'll do what you want. No, don't say that, Clem. Look what they did to Minnie. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But this isn't a negotiation. You people are fucking s- I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see. I'm not kidding around. You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door! Kind of the reaction I expected. But you'll see. I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still! No, 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 no! Please! Clem! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Hey, Jay! Come on. Just breathe. Enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. AJ, no! Oh my god, fuck, please! <laughs> no! We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. I will put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. I'll do whatever you want. Clem seems to care a lot about you. I bet you'd make a great soldier. I'll never fight for you. Clem seems to care a lot about you. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly enough. Don't what the fuck are you, you doing? Understand?
understand You're gonna happened. get us all killed! You weren't there! <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> She's dead! You just, just fucking go! We have to get the hell out of here now! Go! I need to find AJ. I... I, I can... Uh... I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. 